Hello students, welcome to today's session. In last two videos, we have seen the introduction of respiration, the definition of respiration, the respiratory surfaces and the organs for the respiration in plants. Today, we are going to see the respiration in animals. In animals, the different types of respiration takes place. We are seeing the difference between the breathing and respiration. Upon breathing, it is the only exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide with the environment. When oxygen-rich air is taken inside the body, it is called as an inhalation and carbon dioxide-rich air inside the body, which is expelled throughout the lungs, that is called as expiration. And the inspiration and expiration or inhalation and exhalation, they are collectively or combinedly called as the breathing. But respiration, it is the production of energy with the organic substrate. It is the production of energy with our food, with the combustion of our food. And that respiration, that mechanism of respiration, organs of the respiration that we are going to study in, the, in this chapter. That Respiratory organs in animals, the different respiratory organs in animals, that may be the plasma membrane, that may be the skin, that may be the cloaca, that may be the uh, book lungs or book gills, external gills, internal gills, that may be any organ for the respiration that is originated from endoderm. You are knowing that there are three germ layers by the formation of a zygote or an embryo inside the mother's womb or a uterus. When there is a formation of a baby inside the womb, it is formed, the egg is fertilized. After the fertilization of egg, there is a formation of a zygote and zygote undergoes the various division, mitotic division to form a ball of cell that is called as a morula, blastula and the gastrula. After the gastrula formation, the cells rearrange themselves and there is a formation, formation of amnion, chorion, amniotic cord, all these organs and they are, the cells are arranged according to their layers. That three layers are called as a three germinal layers which is known as endoderm, mesoderm and the ectoderm. Ectoderm means the outer layer, most outer layer. And the mesoderm means the middle layer and the endoderm means the very much internal layer. And the all respiratory organs or the respiratory organs in all animals, they are originated from the endoderm means the very much internal layer. Means respiratory system, it is endodermal in origin. It may be asked in the need or CT ki respiratory organ, ki respiration cha organ kutlya layer pasun tayar hota, to te sagra atlya layer pasun tayar hota, chala apan kaya endoderm hon. In animals, the respiration depends upon, the type of respiration depends upon, or the organs of respiratory exchange, gaseous exchange, they are depending upon the habitat of the animal. To animal kutlya वातावरणात राहतो त्याची हॅबिटेट त्याची सवय का आहे ते अक्वाटिक आहे ते टेरेस्ट्रियल आहे ते सेमी अक्वाटिक आहे दॅट मे बी एनी हॅबिटेट त्या हॅबिटेट वर डिपेंड करतं की त्या एनिमलचे रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स काय आहे द रेस्पिरेशन डी अगेन कनेक्टेड विद द ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन इट इज नथिंग बट द सर्कुलेशन व्हेन द डायजेस्टेड फूड इट इज गेट अब्सॉर्ब्ड इन द बॉडी इट इज गेट are added in the body, it is assembled in the blood for the transportation of that digested food and transportation of oxygen that needs the transport system, that needs the vessels, artery, veins and that needs oxygen also. When the respiration is animals the respiration is the the organs which is needed for the respiration, they are also helps in the transportation or the circulation. That means respiration, it is very much uh, connected with the transportation or circulation. Again, the type of respiratory organs in animals, they are again connected with their mechanism, their body surfaces. The organism is habitat, the animal type, 
either it is a mammal or either it is a reptile एक तो तेजी रहने चीज आगा अनिता एनिमल चे टाइप या वन तेजे रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन या रेस्पिरेशन से टाइप डिसाइड होता दैट वे आर सीइंग द टेबल ऑफ दैट रेस्पिरेशन इन एनिमल्स अपने लाय या टेबल द्वारे ही स्टडी करने से के एनिमल्स में द रेस्पिरेशन कुटला कुटला प्रकार होता कि वह कुटला ऑर्गन्स � or the organism is what is its habitat and what is its respiratory surfaces. That first organism, we are seeing that kingdom Animalia, it is divided into many phylums and phylums or it can be called as a divisions in the kingdom planting. But here the phylums cylindrata, the cylindrata belongs to the kingdom Animalia. Cylindrata, they are nothing but the uh, hydra. Hydra belongs to the phylum cylindrata. They are in the um, body surface, birds, then the uh, tentacles, osteum, osculum. That cylindrata, hydra belongs to the cylindrata and sponges, they are belongs to the polyphera. The organism having the pores on their body, they are very lower members of kingdom animalia. The, Cylindrates again in this uh, table that we are we can also add the coriferans. That coriferans means organism having the pores on their body and the kingdom protista. Kingdom protista it is uh, very much uh, differentiated from the kingdom animalia but the protist protist means the unicellular organism with the developed nucleus with the eukaryon with the eukaryotic situations eukaryotic conditions. The organism just belongs to the kingdom protista that is the amoeba. Means the organism belongs to kingdom protista and the cylindrates like the hydra, the second phylum of the kingdom animalia and the poriferans, the first lower phylum of kingdom animalia in which sponges are present. The organism with the spores on their body. And in this organism, what is the habitat of this organism? Protist, maybe cylindrate, maybe poriferan. What is the habitat? The habitat is totally aquatic. They are present in the water. Aquatic means the organism present in the water. They are called as a aquatic. Or the organism which complete their life processes with the help of water, they are also called as aquatic animals. And how they perform the respiration? With the help of plasma membrane. Again, you are knowing that the organism which is having lower place in the kingdom animalia or the organism belongs to the kingdom protista, they are having their exchange of gases with the plasma membrane. You know that protista is unicellular organism, but hydra it is a multicellular organism. Sponges, they are again the multicellular organism, but how they perform their respiration with the help of simply plasma membrane. Plasma membrane, it is the first layer in kingdom animalia, but it is the second layer in the kingdom protista. That first layer in kingdom protista members, that is the cell wall. And the second layer is the plasma membrane. But cylindrates and the poriferans, they are animals. This, is, this table is deals with the type of respiration or respiratory surfaces in animals. But kingdom protista, it is an um, exception. That cylindrates and the poriferans, they are having respiratory surfaces as plasma membrane. Plasma membrane, GK, silver chi. First layer of kingdom animalia cha organism madhe, tar ya plasma membrane cha help ni ska hai ta respiration ho ta. You are knowing that plasma membrane is selectively and semi permeable in nature. Ani apan last video madhe bagi tlo ta, what is the characteristic features of a respiratory surfaces? It must be large, it must be thin and it must be vascular. Vascular means it is supplied with the muscles. Ithe blood cha supply pa ishe. Arteries, vein ni, capillaries ni ki wala. तिथे ब्लड सप्लाई के पाजे और आदर इट इज सप्लाइड विद दिलमेंट फ्लोइंग इन द प्लांट्स देर फोर दैट प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन इट इज अ सेलेक्टिवली एंड सेमी परमिएबल ऑर्गेनल इन द सेल व्हाट इज मीन बाय सेलेक्टिवली एंड सेमी परमिएबल दैट इज प्लाज्मा मेम्ब्रेन कैन गेन ओनली सम मटेरियल इनसाइड द सेल एंड इट कैन एक्सपेल ओनली सम मटेरियल आउटसाइड द सेल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ सेलेक्टिवली परमिएबल एंड 
semi permeable half of the material it can gain and half of the material it can expel throughout the cell that is the characteristic feature of a plasma membrane and most of the plasma membrane they are made up of lipoproteinaceous in nature lipids and proteins some of the plasma membrane in animal they are made up of lipids and the glycogen is the carbohydrate lipo carbohydrate in the nature that means fat and carbohydrate they are making the plasma membrane in some animal but most of the animal they are having lipids and proteins in the plasma membrane as a content uh, finish that proteins cylindrates and the poriferous organism which are aquatic in nature they are doing their respiration by the simply plasma membrane they exchange their gases with the plasma membrane okay and the second one that is the flat worm like the uh, ascelminthus nematelminthus platylminthus flat worm they are called as platylminthus the next some um, phylums of the kingdom animalia then uh, the organism like the planaria we are doing that planaria We are, which are having the eye surfaces like this. Diet. Flatworms, planaria, the annelids, the hirudina, leech, which are having annules on their body, the ring-like structures on their body, that is called as annelids, uh, just like the earthworm. Then the amphibians, what is mean by the amphibian? The organism which live in water as well as on the land, that organism are called as a amphibians. just like the frog just like the turtle just like the crocodile just like some organisms which are live in the water as well as on land which are having a dual type of life that is called amphibians amphibians dwell and beyond means the life okay that planaria platyhelminthus member then flatworm like the planaria annelids like the leech hirudina annelids means organism having annules on their body that is the earthworm and the amphibians the organism live in water as well as on the land they are called as aquatic animals they, they may be they have habitat ka hai sir they are live in water and semi aquatic semi aquatic means again the amphibian they are live in water half in and they, are, they can live on the land also that means terrestrial also how they perform their respiration what is the respiratory surfaces plasma membrane again planaria or the hirudina leech they can perform their respiration with their plasma membrane with and with their body surfaces the external body surface exchange the oxygen and carbon dioxide inside the blood by simply their body surface by simply their body wall by the diffusion and osmosis simply diffusion is takes place there that diffusion in plants uh, in last video we have seen the diffusion in plants but diffusion is same in animals also the movement of solute particles from higher concentration to lower concentration the difference between diffusion and osmosis is only that in osmosis semi permeable membrane is present in between the exchange surface but diffusion do not provide the semi permeable surface therefore the uh, platform annelids and the amphibians they are aquatic or semi aquatic semi means half aquatic ऑर्गेनिजम Land and they are perform their respiration with the help of tracheal tubes. We are knowing that we are having the nose, nasal cavity, nasal chamber, then the pharynx, then larynx. We are having the respiratory tube opening with the pharynx, then the larynx. Sound box is there and sound box is continued into the big broader tube for the respiration that is the trachea, then the lower trachea, then the bronchus and bronchus they are divided into two tubes that is the bronchioles bronchies as there that means that these organism insect are performing their respiration with the tracheal tubes the respiratory tubes and what is mean by the spiracle or the spiracles spiracle or spiracle means it is the smaller pores on the body of an insect insect having the smaller pores just like that they are having smaller pores chote chote chidra asta 
इन्सेक्टच्या कीटकांच्या शरीरावर त्यांनी ते त्यांचं रेस्पिरेशन परफॉर्म करतात देन नेक्स्ट ऑर्गॅनिझम दॅट इज द आराकिस लाईक द स्पायडर स्कॉर्पियन्स दॅट दे आर बिलॉंग्स टू द अगेन द अर्थोकोडा बट अगेन द फायलनिस क्लास इज अरॅक्निस अँड द ऑर्गॅनिझम्स एक्झाम्पल आर स्पायडर अँड अगेन वन ऑफ द एक्झाम्पल दॅट इज द स्कॉर्पियन दिसू आपण जर म्हणून हाऊ दे परफॉर्म द रेस्पिरेशन दे आर द अगेन द टेरेस्ट्रियल ऑर्गॅन्स दॅट Spider and scorpion, they are again terrestrial organism and they perform their respiration with the help of book lungs. What do you mean by book lungs? Book lungs kashalam hoopan. That, these are the new organelles, these are the new organs you did not study in the 8th, 9th, 10th. And to just school level la hi shikhle la sir, what is the spherical book lungs and book gills? That, what is the book lungs? they are present inside the body they are the uh, just the name indicate books when the book they are arranged one or another they form a uh, structure a column like structure what are the book lungs they are lamins stack of lamins they are the stack of many lamellaries which are arranged upon one upon another lamellaries manje apan manu jala apan udhya tubes man they are uh, trans they are transverse apan jala manu tube like structure and they are arranged one upon another inside the body of spider or the scorpion in the abdominal cavity स्पायड अरॅक्लिस ऑर्गॅनिझमच्या स्पायडर किंवा स्कॉर्पियनच्या ॲबडॉमिनल कॅबिटीमध्ये अरेंजड असलेल्या स्मॉल ट्यूब्स आहेत ज्या एकमेकांवर अरेंजड होतात अँड दे आर प्रेझेंट इन द ॲबडॉमिनल कॅबिटी पोटाच्या कॅबिटीमध्ये ते अरेंजड आहेत बट दे आर अगेन ओरिजिनेटेड फ्रॉम द फॅरेंजियल सर्फेसेस फॅरिंग सर्फेसेस अँड दे आर प्रेझेंट इन साईड द ॲबडॉमिनल कॅबिटी अँड दे आर ओपन साईड द लोअर साईड कुठं ओपन सुद्धा पडा it is open here it is open here it is open here there are opens at the lower side and that lower side connected with the outer surface of the body baka ha chote chote lamellaries are lamellaries manje chota tube like structure cha ekmekanvar parallelly arranged ahe small tube like structure which are parallelly arranged one above another that is called as lamellaries and that collection of many lamellaries inside the abdominal cavity these are called as book lungs they are not lungs but they are the collection of lamellaries and which are open at the lower side which are open at the lower side and they exchange the air with the outer side of the body but they are situated inside the body but book lungs are situated inside the body at the abdominal cavity pota cha area madhe situated asa how spider scorpion म्हणजे आपण हे ऑर्गॅनिझम जे आहेत पिंसू किंवा स्पायडर आहेत ते कसे परफॉर्म करतात त्यांचं रेस्पिरेशन ते परफॉर्म द रेस्पिरेशन विथ द हेल्प ऑफ बुक लंग्स अगेन द प्रोसेस इज सेम दॅट इज द डिफ्युजन ठीक आहे देन द नेक्स्ट ऑर्गॅनिझम इज द अर्थ्रोपोडा लिमोडस एक्झाम्पल दॅट अर्थ्रोपोडन्स मीन्स द ऑर्गॅनिझम हॅविंग द टफ बॉडी सर्फेसेस जस्ट लाईक द क्रॅब कॉक्रोचेस द बटरफ्लाय द अर्थ्रोपोडन्स दे आर सम arthropods but which are aquatic in nature let, let us see that which are aquatic in nature means which are live in water and they are having a book gills for their respiration again what is the book gills that we are knowing the external gills internal gills but what is the book gills again every that arthropod like the limulus just like consider a crab or the cockroaches the ventral body surface if you observe the ventral body surfaces they are having the appendages tanchi paay tanchi paay asta crabs kiwa jar cockroaches bagitla tar ani tancha ta appendage appendages cha khali tancha ta paayancha apan manu extension cha khali they are having paper like surfaces 100 above 100 ek shambhar dirshe paper like surfaces asta that are called as book gills त्यांना आपण काय म्हणूया दे आर नथिंग बट द बुक गिल्स अँड विथ द हेल्प ऑफ बुक गिल्स मीन्स द ऑर्गॅनिझम बिलॉंग्स टू फायलम अर्थ्रोपोडा अँड विच आर ऍक्वॅटिक इन नेचर दे आर परफॉर्म देअर रेस्पिरेशन द रेस्पिरेटरी सर्फेसेस आर बुक गिल्स 
that book lungs present inside the body and book gills present outside the body along with their besides their appendages tancha paniyancha bazula below their appendages level there is a presence of paper like surfaces thin paper like surfaces they are called as book gills and these are present over the body at the ventral surfaces जर आपण कुठल्याही प्राण्याला उलट करून बघू तर त्याच्या पायाच्या खालच्या बाजूला आपल्याला खूप सारे थिन पेपर लाईक स्ट्रक्चर्स दिसतील दॅट आर कॉल्ड ॲज बुक गिल्स देन अगेन दे आर अरेंज लाईक द पेजेस इन द बुक्स जस्ट लाईक द बुक लंग ऑल्सो और बुक गिल्स ऑल्सो ठीक आहे देन द ॲम्फिबियन टाडपोल ऑफ सॅलमँडर वट इज द ॲम्फिबियन टाडपोल द ऑर्गॅनिझम विच इज लाईव्ह इन वॉटर ॲज वेल ॲज ऑन लँड दे आर कॉल्ड ॲज ॲम्फिबियन अँड वॉट आर द टाडपोल tadpole just like a frog the when frog lays eggs and that eggs are fertilized jeva frog andi ghalto ani te andi fertilized hota they are converted into this shape that a big head and a narrow tail that structure of a frog eggs that is called as a tadpole larvae and that tadpole larvae or salamander just like a organism like a lizard all lizards are called like organism are but noised मग टॅडपोल लावी असो किंवा सलामेंडर असो पूर्ण एम्फिबियन नाही त्यांचे टॅडपोल लावी त्या कंडिशन मध्ये जे पाण्यात राहतात पूर्णपणे ते अक्वेटिक असतील अँड द सेमी अक्वेटिक असतील बट व्हॉट इज देअर ऑर्गन फॉर रेस्पिरेशन दे परफॉर्म देअर रेस्पिरेशन विथ द एक्सटर्नल गिल्स त्यांचं रेस्पिरेशन कसं होतं एक्सटर्नल गिल्स द्वारे होतं व्हॉट आर द एक्सटर्नल गिल्स वेन ऑर्गॅनिझम हॅविंग अ प्रोटोडेड हेड and behind that head behind their eyes ka asa tancha eye cha pathi madhe apan manu that some body surfaces are converted into the external gills what is the external gills and the internal gills madha difference ka hai they are again both gills are perform the same function that is the diffusion but external gills they are the smaller cavities smaller outlet on the direct body surfaces and they perform the exchange of gases and that what gills are present that below the eye below the head dokyacha kiwa dolyacha pathi mage manje just like fish la jithe gills asta tithe salamander madhe kiwa tadpole larvae madhe ka asta external gills asta then next fish it is also aquatic they are totally live in the water and how they perform their respiration with the help of internal gills gills so book lungs so book gills so external gills so ka ka me tansa they are having a gill slits again the internal gills fish madhe tumhi bagal tar hi pharyngeal cavity ahe ani ya pharyngeal cavity che pharyngeal body walls che extension ahe the that pharyngeal pharynx wall they are extend into many tube like structure and they are exchange air with the environment and they are exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide with the blood and externally they are having the gill slits body cha bahir tanna ka hai gill slits ahe but internally they are having the gills gills chota khacha asna बॉडीच्या आतल्या साईडला ज्या फारिंग्सच्या वॉल पासून डेव्हलप झालेल्या आहेत फारिंग्स इट इज नथिंग बट दाईड अस द लॅरिंगच्या वर असलेला ऑर्गन जो रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टीम सुरुवात करतो आणि फॅरिंग्सचे ट्यूबर्स कशाच्या मध्ये गिल्स मध्ये गिल्सच्या ट्यूब मध्ये इथे काय होते मॉडिफाईड होते आणि बाहेरच्या साईडला गिल्स लिट म्हणजे त्यांच्यावर पातळ पडदे असतात जेव्हा पाणी पास होतं फिशच्या शरीरावरून तेव्हा ऑक्सिजन रिच एअर शरीरामध्ये येते की ब्लडमध्ये मिसळते आणि कार्बन डायऑक्साईड रिच एअर ही ब्लडमधून गिल्सच्या द्वारे बाहेर जाते ठीक आहे दॅट इंटरनल गिल्स प्रेझेंट इनसाईड द बॉडी विच इज अ मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ अ फॅरेंजियल बॉडी पॉल अँड एक्सटर्नल गिल प्रेझेंट आउटसाईड द बॉडी बिलो द हेड ऑर आय सर्फेसेस दे आर प्रेझेंट ऑफ द स्किन देन नेक्स्ट दॅट इज द रेप्टाईल सरपटणारे प्राणी आय दर स्नेक क्रोकोडाईल देन द बर्ड्स अँड एव्हियन्स आपण ज्याला म्हणू अँड मॅमल्स विच आर हॅव्हिंग अ मॅमरी लँड्स या सगळ्यांमध्ये जे कुठं राहतात जमिनीवर राहतात विच आर टेरेस्ट्रियल ऑर्गॅनिझम दे आर परफॉर्म देअर रेस्पिरेशन दे आर हॅविंग कम्प्लीट पॅकेज ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम विच इज स्टार्टेड विथ द लंग्स लंग्स पासून सुरुवात होते लंग्स आर द मॉडिफाईड रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स इन द मॉडिफाईड ऑर्गॅनिझम 
विच आर नोन ॲज अ मॅमल्स जसं आपण आहोत सगळ्यात मॉडिफाईड रेस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन्स आहेत कुठले लंग्स अँड द लंग्स दीज आर एंडिंग ऑफ द रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टीम नोज नेझल कॅव्हिटी नेझल चेंबर अँड द ग्लॉटीज अँड द पिग्लॉटीज अँड द फारिंग्स लारिंग्स टकियर ट्यूब टकियर कार्टिलेजेस दॅन द ब्रॉंकस ब्रॉंकीज ब्रॉंकिओल्स अँड द लंग्स अँड द लास्टली अँड लास्ट सायड्स दॅट लंग्स परफॉर्म द रेस्पिरेशन इन केस ऑफ अ ऑर्गॅनिझम लाईव ऑन अ लँड जमिनीवर राहणारा ऑर्गॅनिझम मध्ये हायर ऑर्गॅनिझम मध्ये कशाने रेस्पिरेशन होतं तर लंग्सनी होतं आता फ्रॉकमध्ये आपण बघितलेलं आहे की फ्रॉक परफॉर्म द रेस्पिरेशन फ्रॉक परफॉर्म थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन एक अडिशनल एक्झाम्पल आपण इथे बघू दे आर हॅव्हिंग अ पी सी बी टाईप ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन फ्रॉकमध्ये जो अँथिबियन ऑर्गॅनिझम पी मीन्स पल्मनरी पल्मनरी मीन्स लक्षच्या साह्याने केलं जाणार दॅट सी मीन्स क्युटानियस विथ द हेल्प ऑफ स्कीन तुम्हाला माहीत असेल फ्रॉकच्या जीवनात दोन रेस्टिंग पिरियड असतात एक हा एक आपण ज्याला हार्बनेशन म्हणून विंटर स्लीप थंडीच्या काळात पण तो जमिनी स्वतःला लुटवून घेतो कुठेतरी दडून घेतो आणि त्याला आपण काय म्हणू हार्बनेशन पिरियड म्हणू थंडीतली झोप जी बिअरच्या संदर्भात सुद्धा असते अस्वलाच्या संदर्भात आणि उन्हाळ्यातली झोप म्हणजे ऍस्टिवेशन उन्हाळ्यात पण तो स्वतःला गाडून घेतो कुठेतरी मातीमध्ये त्यांचं थंडपणा कायम ठेवण्यासाठी टेम्परेचर कायम ठेवण्यासाठी पल्मनरी रेस्पिरेशन विच इज जन विथ द हेल्प ऑफ लंग्स जेव्हा तो बाहेर फिरत राहतो पावसाळ्याच्या काळात दॅट सी फॉर द क्युटॅनिस विच इज डन विथ द स्किन बिकॉज द फ्रॉक सर्फेस स्किन सर्फेस इज मॉइस अँड द बी ब्रॉंको फॅरेंज विच इज डन विथ द ब्रॉंकस अँड द फॅरिंग सर्फेस इज डेव्हलप ऑन द लंग्स डेव्हलप ऑन द रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टीम दॅट इज द पी सी बी आपण लक्षात ठेवण्यासाठी असं एक त्याला शॉर्ट फॉर्म घेऊ शकतो फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री बायोलॉजी पी मीन्स कल्मनरी सी मीन्स क्युटानिस बी मीन्स ब्रॉंको फॅरेंज ठीक आहे दॅट लास्ट वन दॅट इज इंटरटल कासवामध्ये जो अंडर वॉटर त्याची हॅबिटॅट आहे कासो बाहेर पण राहू शकतो इट इज ऑल्सो अँड अंथिबियन ऑर्गॅनिझम बर वेन इट डाईव्स अंडर वॉटर तो पाण्यात जेव्हा पोहत आहे पाण्याखाली जेव्हा राहतो दॅट इट डू द रेस्पिरेशन विथ द हेल्प ऑफ अ क्लोएका अगेन क्लोएका इट इज रिफ्रेक्टिव्ह वॉटर इट इज द ओपनिंग ॲट द लोअर सर्फेस ऑफ द बॉडी इथे तुम्ही बघा ह्या डायग्राममध्ये थोड सारखेल दॅट टर्टल आहे हा दॅट लिझार्ड सारखं स्ट्रक्चर दिसेल दॅट हेअर द क्लोएका इज प्रेझेंट इट इज द आउटर ओपनिंग थ्रू द एक्सक्रिटरी वेस्ट मेटेरियल एक्सपेंड थ्रू द बॉडी ज्यांनी एक्सक्रिटरी वेस्ट मेटेरियल ओपन केलं जातं जिथं इंटेस्टाईन शेवटी ओपन होत आहे त्याला क्लोएका म्हणू आपण अँड इट इज द गॅस्ट्रो इंटेस्टनल ट्रॅक अँड इट इज ऑल्सो अ रिप्रोडक्टिव्ह ट्रॅक ज्याला आपण म्हणू रिप्रोडक्टिव्ह ट्रॅक पण आहे ना फिमेलमध्ये जिथून आपण म्हणू जनाटल ट्रॅक्ट ऑल्सो जिथून मेलचे स्पोन सेंटर करतात दॅट इज ऑल्सो अ जनाटल ट्रॅक अँड गॅस्ट्रो इंटेस्टल ट्रॅक म्हणजे तिथून पचनाचं मटेरियल बाहेर पण येतं न पचलेलं आणि तिथून स्पम आत पण जातात दॅट इज ऑर्गन फॉर द रिप्रोडक्शन ऑल्सो अँड द डायजेशन ऑल्सो अँड सम टाईम इट इज परफॉर्म द रिस्पिरेशन बेट टर्टल लाईफ अंडर वॉटर जेव्हा कसं पाण्याखाली राहतो तेव्हा क्लोएका हे गॅसी सेक्शनचं सुद्धा काम करतं Uh, in this table we have seen the various organs for the respiration pratyek organs uh, explanation dilela ahe tari sudha yache kai short notes mi acha video nantar ek short note madhe take yache var ek choti si test as tumhala provide keli jai ji dhari tumhi theory chi test provide keli jai ji dhari tumhi homework man karu shakta so this is all for today's video please like and share my videos and subscribe for my youtube channel please revise these all uh, points with table given in your uh, pdf book je tumcha pustaka var table ahe tani he revise kara tumhi ani tanantar he kai points lihun kada tumcha notebook madhe theke thanks again